Welcome to today's tutorial. We'll be exploring the process of integrating social authentication into a Flutter application without Firebase. Instead, we will be using our own Node.js server that we built in a previous video, so if you like to learn more about it, you can click on the card or link in the description below under the like and subscribe button. This is the web version of the app. Android. And Windows. Let's start with login to GitHub in Android. Authorize the request. Wait and success. Now from Windows, it log us in as we authorize it in previous request. We are logged in all of the platform. Time to log in using Google on Android. It has added provider to our profile. For Windows and web it works. We have a logout button and a test button to prompt to open native installed app. This project required these packages to work. Let's create new Flutter project and remove all this comment from main.dart and pubspec file, and import our packages and dev dependencies. And create a common file that will manage imports for rest of the project and let's import the packages we just added. I'm gonna create some folders like API, helper, models, providers, screens, widgets. We need some model files to serialize and deserialize JSON response from the server. A user auth provider class and user profile class to create from JSON and to JSON function run the flutter build command as on screen and wait for it to finish and the error will be fixed. Close out of these file and export them from common file. To save app data we are using shared preference. Class constructor initialize as object is created so we don't have to wait for it. And some custom function to save and read non-native types and other functions so we can change this library without any breaking changes in future. App setting provider class to save setting and notify listeners about the change in login state. User theme preference and JWT token. Function to convert theme mode to end from string to save and read it from local storage. With a logout function. User provider class to notify listeners for change in data like server supported OAuth provider, which we get from REST API and save and read them from local storage to increase app responsiveness. Function that take provider as argument to initiate login. Function to get profile from the REST API using JWT token and handle any exceptions. Let's export this from a single file so it's easy to import in REST of the project. I am using DO package for HTTP requests. This file hold an update base URL based on platform, handle request headers, and also handle exceptions so that app doesn't crash. Exporting this file fixes our pending error in the project. Time to work on some UI to manage height and width and shape of the image widget. Also showing image from network is involved task as there are few things to manage like if there is no URL then return error icon. A loading bar while widget try to load image. A error widget if image not found. An image builder with desired decoration. Export this too. A login page with query map as we are using rootmaster is loading to manage loading state. Set state if mounted to prevent called during build. Our providers and let's initialize them. List of all the provider, function to return button with icon, color and name just from provider name input using switch case and an elevated button. For body of the screen, user consumer with scaffold with body that if something is loading then return a progress indicator, else if no OAuth provider then show no data, else show all the provider in a column. To manage token, Get user from it and remove it from URL after redirect from the OAuth for all the supported platforms. Home page is only visible to logged in user and same with query map as we are using rootmaster, manage loading state and user profile. Set state if mounted to prevent called during build. Our providers, and let's initialize them and read user profile. A function to take a long string and return desired length and handle empty string at the same time. For body of the screen, scaffold with body that if is loading then return a progress indicator, else if no profile data then show no data, else show the profile and list of all the provider with access token in a row. A floating action button to add more provider with existing account. A icon button in app bar to log out. Another button only visible in web version to open app in native platform if it exists for testing. 
and to handle query params from the root master and clear and handle any token in URL. Let's add custom scheme and domain so that we can access these from anywhere. I am using AppLinks for this as it support all the platforms. Let's initialize AppLinks to get stream of incoming or updating links. A function to sanitize incoming link so that root master can understand. And a function to end the stream when app is closed. Web imports as it suggests this file contain code only for web version of the app with following function that can update links as per requirement without changing the app screen. A function to check the underlying platform of the browser to open native app if it's installed. A function to change address and a function to return base address of the web page. As I mentioned with previous file that was only for web but Flutter is cross-platform framework so to prevent compile time error we need a file with same function without web imports. And same for this next file as we can't import Win32 packages in web we need same empty functions for web version. Let's export these newly created files with conditional statement to prevent importing wrong packages in wrong platform. And I forgot to export login and home screen so let's do that too. Now it's time to bring all the puzzle pieces together to form a bigger picture. Starting with the app link handler. Widget binding as we gonna call native methods under the hood. Let's register our custom scheme for Windows. It's not the recommended way. App installer should handle this. So that scheme can be removed when uninstalled from system. An URL strategy to remove hash from the web URL. Let's define routes for guest and logged in user. Convert my app to stateful widget. Initialize root master with roots paired with our provider. Link handler to pass incoming links to root master. Add init and dispose method before I forget. Add dot router to the material app and pass root master as router delegate. Add light and dark theme to the app. Remove the debugger banner. Add this too. Wrap our app with multi-provider widget and add all the provider we created. And again, warp material app with consumer of app setting provider to manage auth state and app theme state. Let's remove my home page as it's no longer required. Last step before we try our app, we need to add host and custom scheme for Android and Windows. For Android, refer to Android documentation. Go to Android, App, SRC, Main, and Android manifest file, add these intent filters. For Windows, it's more involved than this. So let's refer to the app link documentation. Add following to Windows Runner Win32 Windows H file at the bottom. Add this header file to Win32 Windows at the top. And this function at the bottom of the file. Find create and show and add this if statement. Last step for this long journey is to run server from my previous video or build this code for web and use this with server and then test for mobile and Windows platform. If there is another better way to implement social auth with Flutter, let me know in the comments. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button, share with friends, subscribe to see more videos like this. If you have any questions or video suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching until the end of the video, and I'll see you in the next one.